So, <coughs> I just got done walking my dogs at the Metro Parks. And for those of you who don't know what the Metro Parks are and you're not from Cleveland, there's a thing here in Cleveland called the Emerald Necklace. And it's basically some really beautiful parks that surround the metropolitan area, kind of like a, a big giant green necklace if you look at it from an aerial map. And there's lots of trails and stuff like that and rivers and all that ha happy hoo-ha. So I'm walking my dog today all by myself and I go to the parks to be with nature, to get away from people. I'm not a big fan of humanity and the more I can get away from people, the better for me. So. I go there to be alone with my dogs and to look at the deer and to uh, talk to the raccoons and the coyotes and so on and so forth. It's a fun, loving experience, nature loving experience. I hug a few trees, a whole nine yards. So to, today I'm in the park, I'm in this field on the edge of a forest or the woods and this lady's walking by and she's an attractive lady. And, and to give you a little background about myself, is a long time ago, like 30 years ago, I used to go to the Metro Parks and go jogging and ride my bike, and I'd pine, be pining for these beautiful women that'd be in the park. They'd all be jogging and riding their bikes in their tight bicycle pants, and I'd be like, oh, if only I could talk to that woman. If only we could be together. You know, I'm not like that anymore. Now now I see a woman who's jogging through the park, and I, I'm thinking, I wonder how bad her knees are going to be in 10 years if she's going to need a double knee replacement. Stuff like that goes through my head now. And how ridiculous she looks wearing tight jogging pants when it's turning 20 degrees outside. But that's a whole other story. Anyway, I'm in this field on the edge of the woods. And this attractive lady comes up to me in her, her downfield jacket and her hood and her gloves and the whole thing. She says, excuse me. I said, yes. I didn't say it like that. But she said, excuse me. Did you just see a domesticated rabbit run through here? I said, a domesticated rabbit? What's a domesticated rabbit? She's like, what? You don't know the difference between a domesticated rabbit and a wild rabbit? <sighs> I said, lady, what do I look like? A rabbitologist or something? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm all sitting here, all by myself with my two dogs. And she comes up to a complete stranger and he asks me if I've seen this domesticated rabbit run through the forest. And I'm like, a lady, a lady what, was his name Harvey? Have you seen Harvey? You know, I, I don't get it. I mean, <coughs> I, I, this is, this is one woman out of like half a million people that live in this area. And it's just a symptom of how crazy I think people are and how ridiculous they are. I mean, who walks through the woods looking for domesticated rabbits? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know a domesticated rabbit myself from a football bat. You know, I don't know. <laughs> what are their domesticated rabbits doing running through the forest anyway? I don't know. Are they looking for their their masters or something? I, I don't know, lady. Leave me alone. I'm here with my dogs. I'm having a nice time. And you come up and ruin it by make, asking me about domesticated and wild rabbits. And you act incensed and upset that I don't know the difference. Well, leave me alone. Get lost. My God, people are crazy. She should go work at the public library. She's so nuts. I don't get it. Sorry, I don't get it. Did, I, did somebody, did I miss the memo? Attention, Peter. Uh, <clears throat> important memo. The majority of the United States population has lost their minds and they're searching for domesticated rabbits in the woods. I don't know where this lady came from. I don't know if it was the day the home uh, got them all in the, in the little white van and took them to the park and let them run loose of the forest. But usually those people, you can tell that they're from the home and they usually have a chaperone with them. It's like, no, don't chew on that tree over there, Billy. You know, I see these people. There's usually about five to ten of them. They take them to a coffee shop, and they're all like, ah, ah, there goes the rabbits. That wasn't one of these ladies. This was just a regular lady chasing domesticated rabbits down in the middle of the forest. I tell you, the more I go out, the less I want, the less I want to. I, I want to become like Howard Hughes. I don't have his money, but I want to be one of these recluses sitting in a room letting my fingernails grow long and who knows what else oh my god so anyway et pop signing off all four of my lay all four of my lobes tied to a domesticated rabbit
Bye.